Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB 16 this show. In this series, we're going up against the Miami Marlins. Our lineup for this game is Starling Marte, Gregory Polanco, Andrew McCutcheon, John Jaso, Jung Ho Gung, Josh Harrison, Francisco Cervelli, Jordy Mercer, and Garrett Cole is on the mound. And the first inning, the slider cutting inside, getting that strikeout. Now we're going on to the bottom of the first inning, Starling Marte, a base hit down the first baseline. We're going for two, and we're going to reach there safely. So a nice way to start off the inning for the team. Now we have Gregory Polanco up next, and he's going to get a base hit. This is going to get through. Going to give us runners on the corners. Don't want to run home and get thrown out. So we're going to keep it safe. No outs in the inning for Andrew McCutcheon, a grounder to the second baseman. Polanco and Marte freeze up for a second, but we do score a run. We almost got hit with that triple play right there. That would have been terrible, but we do take the lead 1-0. Next inning, Garrett Cole coming up with his second strikeout of the game. And then with two outs in the inning, the high fastball make that number three. Now in the bottom of the third inning, bases loaded for John Jaso. He's going to hit a grounder to the second baseman. Marlins get out of the jam. Top of the fourth inning we go. And this one is going to get ripped deep into right field. And that is gone. I think that bounced into the water. But a big time hit right there from the Marlins. That's going to tie this game up at one apiece. 21 home runs for Bauer. But that was a big time shot for the Marlins. Still in the fourth inning. Garrett Cole is going to bounce back with another strikeout for this game. Number four right now. And now we're going to the top of the fifth inning. 0-2 count. The high, high fastball. Got him chasing. That's his fifth strikeout of the game. And then the slider drifting away for strikeout number six. Garrett Cole putting in work. Top of the sixth inning. Another strikeout. Make that number seven. Still in the sixth inning. The full count. The high fastball kind of inside. But another strikeout for Garrett Cole. Marlins get a base hit. But then Garrett Cole comes back. With his third strikeout of the inning. And now we're going into the top of the seventh inning. A high fastball. Yo, Garrett Cole on fire right now. He does not care. Another curveball right there. Haven't thrown many of them. But that's his second strikeout of the inning. And now, this time, he's going to strike out the side. So, I think the last seven outs were from strikeouts. But now we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning. Still a 1-1 game. Starling Marte is going to get walked, and then Gregory Polanco is going to come up with a base hit, gets past the second baseman, that's going to give us runners on the corners, and then Andrew McCutcheon, he ends up getting walked, bases loaded for John Jaso, and he's going to deliver with a big time hit into the outfield, it's going to go all the way to the wall, three runs come around to score, and that is a double for John Jaso, so we're going to take the lead for the one off that huge hit. Josh Harrison's going to come up now with two outs in the inning. Rips one down the third baseline. John Jaso coming around to score. Making that a 5-1 game. After a couple walks, Matt Joyce up the bat, who was the first batter of the inning. He's going to rip one into the outfield all the way to the warning track. All three runs come around to score once again. For a big time three run double. The second one of this inning. And then Starling Marte. He's going to pop it up into left center field. To get the out. But we bat around the order in the seventh inning. And score seven runs. And now in the top of the ninth inning. Jared Hughes into pitch. A big time double play to get two outs. And then with two outs in the inning. Jared Hughes got him frozen with that slider. A big time win right there. With the 8-1 to one score line, Garrett Cole picks up the victory. He ends up being the player of the game. 7 solid innings, 12 strikeouts. I mean, I feel like every time we pitch with him, we get upwards of 10 strikeouts. But now he's starting to win, and that's the difference maker. 10-10 for the season. Hasn't been 500 for a long time. But John Jaso had a big game. 1-4, for four, had the big 3-run double. Three RBIs for him. Starling Marte goes three for four. Matt Joyce, another player who actually came into pinch hit in the seventh inning, got two at bats. He had the big three run double himself. And then Gregory Polanco goes two for three with the run. But a big time performance for us in this game. We do come away with the sweep. You can check the description out to see how the rest of the series played out. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.